New at six, a Marshall County man is fed up with a stinky problem of septic runoff from a drug rehab center polluting his yard. The Lifehouse Deliverance Center operates in the outskirts of Arab, and Ed Hart says he's been dealing with this septic issue for months. Now, Georgia Clark has the details tonight. I'm here at the property neighboring the Lifehouse Deliverance Center, where, as you can see behind me, the septic runoff is trickling down into the yard. The owner says that on dry days, the smell is potent across his property. The Lifehouse Deliverance Center is a faith-based 15-month drug recovery center that has patients who are court-mandated and voluntary. Ed Hart says he has been struggling with the center next door for some time. Hart has had to have surveyors come out to mark property lines so the center would remove trash and even a wrecked vehicle that had been pushed onto his land. He says dogs that roam the neighboring property have killed some of his chickens, and one occupant of the center even attempted to break into Hart's vehicle. Then in July of last year, he says the septic tank began to overflow into his driveway. And looking onto the property, you can see the puddles of septic and trenches that have been hand dug to divert the flow away from the center. Then I asked him about the septic tank and he said that they fixed it and I said, when did you fix it? And he goes, three days ago and I'm, I was on the phone looking at it still pouring into my yard. After speaking with the Marshall County Health Department, the issue with the tank is that the mass number of people living on the property is too much for a normal tank to handle. The Health Department estimated 28 to 40 people living in the complex, which essentially only has four bedrooms between the main house, the smaller back house, and the camper. With no zoning laws relating to number of occupancy in Marshall County, the Health Department says that there is nothing it can do regarding the number of residents. Pastor Derek Sherrill, a founder of the center, says he has been quick to action with the complaints from Hart. And an understandable complaint, mm -hmm. but knowing that also anytime there's ever been a complaint, we've jumped right on top of it because we believe in what we do here. And we believe in the relationships with the community is why we stay as effective as we are. The center is under legal notice to fix the tank, but Cheryl says they are still waiting on plans from an engineer on the new system that will have to be installed to support the number of occupants. Cheryl says he doesn't believe that the septic runoff is a hazard for the residents or the condition of the rest of the property. He says that these issues and complaints just distract from the work that they do here, work that he says is trusted by officials from across the state. Reporting in Marshall County, Georgia Clark, Way 31 News.